Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever time zone you are viewing from. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Ed Tech Society, all learners. So for past two weeks, we got multiple requests to upload the actual practitioner questions. So, so we have tried today, just see this view. So this will be your actual practitioner exam view where you will see the question in the left side of the window and the answers in the right side of the window. So just now we will go through the questions and we will try to answer this question. So remember that we discussed last time that you will have four options and correct option or the uh, best option will give you five marks. Second best will give you three marks third best will give you one mark and there will be one wrong or distractor option which will give you zero marks so now we try to read the questions and we'll try to see the best option here so you are an enterprise architect working with the enterprise architecture team at the multinational food chain farm to date the ea team has been focused on supporting the farm's it portfolio architecture to support portfolio. The EA team is successful and engaged with the firm's executive management. The architecture roadmaps form the basis of the IT portfolio planning, which includes roadmapping key capabilities for human resources, finances, consumer product management, manufacturing, and the enabling enterprise applications. These capabilities are aligned with your firm's long-term roadmap. So two things from this entire paragraph that we need to, we as an enterprise architect need to support the portfolio and it needs to be aligned with the uh, firm's roadmap. The EA team was not engaged in defining the strategy for the digital transformation. Over the past quarter, the EA team has had several requests for architecture work uh, from the consumer product teams and the digital product platform team. To date, the response has been that the EA team does not have the skills or expertise and the advice has been for the requested to seek help externally by using consultants more experienced with the consumer product. So this entire paragraph uh, is not that meaningful for the purpose of the questions and this uh, in the actual exam also you need to of see the what is the main crux of the questions so there are will be lot of paragraphs but you need to understand here like the two words we identified we need to support portfolio and it needs to be realigned with the uh, farm's roadmap and the main question is what they are asking you have been asked by the ea team leader to recommend how the ea team could alter its role to support the digital transformation activity so then the third point that we need to support the digital transformation activity. So how we need to answer based on the TOGAP standard, which of the following is the best answer. Okay, now we will try to go through the answers and examine that which option su suits the these three points, portfolio, roadmap and digital transformation. So now read the first option A. The digital product and digital product platform are distinct initiatives, essentially treated as separate projects. So if you remember our uh, second video, so enterprise architecture, the main purpose is to guide the effective change. That is the first point. Second is you need to think from a bigger hat or the or portfolio hat, not only just the pro supporting the projects and all these things so this we will discuss in the later part when when we will upload the uh, preliminary phase videos or the spe phase specific videos in more details but uh, from uh, enterprise architecture perspective your role is always to support the portfolio which will support the multiple projects not only thinking about the specific solution delivery so here in this option they are saying that the digital product and the digital product platform are distinct initiatives, essentially treated as separate projects. To maximize the value from these experiments, it's crucial to focus on their purpose and value. Additionally, when developing the 
digital product platform consider addressing synergies and future dependencies to ensure seamless integration and alignment across projects so there are few good points also that in this option it is trying to extend the ea team to work on the transformation which is our third point but it is not the best result because it is not trying to think from the portfolio perspective okay so this can be option 3 but not the best option but uh, let's uh, move to the other options what they are saying you recommend in option b you recommend that the team view each product as both a solution and a project the enterprise architecture team should realign its efforts to sustain the enterprise purpose and value derived from these experiments when developing the digital product platform emphasize integration and alignment between projects without proper constraints controls and architecture requirements corporate alignment and information integration may suffer in this option also if you see here it is also trying to extend the ea team to sub few, do few more activities however uh, realigning realigning the realigning the team to architecture to support projects and solution delivery actually does not maintaining the support needed for core of the companies or the core of this question also that the portfolio okay so here also this option doesn't look to be the best option and it is not trying to fit the roadmap also so now going to option c given the digital products and digital product platform are experimental consider treating each of these three parts as a portfolio yes so this is what we are looking for extend the ea team's experience in identifying projects defining their terms of reference approach and synergies this approach will help strike a balance between innovation and operation efficiency exactly so here the two points that, that we discussed from ea perspective it is trying to guide the effective change so if you see here it is trying to do an approach that will help strike a balance between innovation and operational efficiency it is trying to uh, work for the portfolio it is trying to extend the ea team experiment experience which was identifying the projects defining their terms of reference approach synergies so more or less it's looking like a five pointer option but now see the option d also you recommend to include the digital product platform within the existing portfolio managed by the team no it is trying to align or fit the requirements in the existing it portfolio which cannot be a good option here since it aligns with the other shared core it systems this integration will safeguard alignment and information coherence by setting appropriate constraints and controls ea team can effectively manage the digital product platform no so if you see here they mentioned yeah. that it's not like that with that existing option that they will manage this entire thing they are thinking from the long term perspective so if they are all existing portfolio could have been support the thing then there is no question on uh, doing the things again so they are thinking about the firm's long term roadmap so it cannot be done with their existing portfolio so it's a wrong answer i might say that this is a distractor also okay and here they are only trying to address the digital transformation not the portfolio not the roadmap also so for the for answering this question so option c should be five pointer option option a looks three pointer uh, where the entire thing they are doing but the everything guiding effective change digital transformation only thing they are not supporting the portfolio so five option she should she should be five point option a three option b one and option d zero but in the ac ac actual exam you need to answer or select only one so you should select in this type of question option c and uh, the, this is the entire screen you will see in the actual exam there, there will be eight questions like this only difference you will see a reference button here by clicking that you will see those 
two body of knowledge bok1 and bok2 okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe our channel edtech society all learners see you in next videos